Now, uh, Dr. Padma, um, since we have a lot of uh, clinical professionals attending the audio, uh, you know, webinar today, both nurses and doctors, uh, a lot of us may not be corely into public health or infectious diseases. Maybe we've not specialized in these areas. The moment you say public health, it becomes a very broad concept and a lot of us don't really know what exactly fits into it. And it's the favorite question of yours and mine in any webinar. We differentiate how public health and community medicine are different and how things are same. Now, if at all, uh, since you've explained that how these concepts are applicable to every healthcare worker and clinician, uh, starting from a primary care clinician, if at all we are looking at understanding or upskilling or upgradation or training in these areas, what kind of uh, additional value will these programs bring into us, whichever programs they could be in the areas of ID and public health, how can they add value to one's career? What kind of career choices can they bring in fully? Or how can we enhance our existing careers with this? Yeah. So I think it's uh, one of the important uh, decisions we all um, uh, have to take. And that's an uh, you know, important question we all ask at some point in our career. What do I do uh, next? And what do I, where do I place myself? Now, uh, if you take, uh, you know, let's say 10 years ago or 15 years ago, the traditional thinking of uh, doctors or nurses, you know, once they finish nursing, they go into clinical work and they do a post-graduation and then they, you know, choose the degree of speciality and then they do that for the rest of their life. And I think that is actually being broken completely in the, in the last five to 10 years. I would say definitely in the last five years, everything has changed now. Now there is no limit or, or uh, possibilities as to what you can learn and what you cannot learn because of the advent of online learning. Now, having said that, uh, you know we have we are, we are at a, a unique uh, opportunity in the human or uh, in the mankind where we have access to all the knowledge just in our palm, and how do we utilize it is up to us. Now that's you know like a broad answer. When you're coming down to infectious diseases, the answer translates to everything and anything. Now, ten years ago, if you would have asked me the question, I would have simply told you, would have, "Oh, it's a very fun, wonderful field. You could become an infectious disease specialist in a hospital." But that's not the case anymore. You can become, you can go into any field you want. Like I'll quote an example. In the last uh, two weeks, I've been approached by um, a reporter who's uh, who was actually a doctor who started his journey as an MBBS doctor and mm -hmm. then he finished his infectious disease training and then he liked media a lot. He trained as a media person in US and then he's joined uh, Bloomberg and Bloomberg News and he's now reporting healthcare. So he's yeah. got, uh, you know, a tremendous career. Yeah. And I know a friend who has uh, had training in infectious diseases who worked as uh, a consultant in McKinsey and retired at 45 at US as a vice president of McKinsey in US. He was an infectious diseases trained uh, specialist. And a uh, lot of people are now going into emerging fields like uh, you know, digital health, especially like you said, like you rightly said, artificial intelligence is new, the new buzzword. So people are getting into that area. People are actually becoming lawyers. People are engaging with the government policy makers. They work for institutes like Niti Aayog, uh, they work for Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. People also work in um, a lot of uh, uh, big NGOs and agencies like Bill Gates Foundation, Clinton Foundation, World Health Organization. Now the traditional ones include working in hospitals, working yeah. in uh, academic institutes, but those are just, like I said, traditional uh, yeah. areas. Now yeah. the world is open and yeah. uh, you can apply your knowledge to anywhere in the field, and that's actually more relevant to infectious diseases field than any other field. So I think training in infectious diseases will open up opportunities not just in traditional uh, areas, yeah. but it'll also open up opportunities in really, I mean, a very different and non-traditional uh, areas. In fact, I have a friend who works, who trained as an ophthalmologist and is now working for Google. Google. And you know it's it's it's, it's yeah. about how you apply your knowledge in problem solving and how you uh, what are the areas you can uh, 
uh, work in. So it, it's 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 the world has become very global now, mm-hmm. and and that's the opportunity. So uh, I would actually encourage uh, you know participants who are watching this to uh, open up their doors in their mind uh, to other non-traditional areas and uh, see there are a lot of uh, scope for infectious diseases and uh, apply that. And that's how uh, you know that's how it worked for me. And a lot of other people I know, and I think um, the road less uh, traveled has you know, usually been, uh, you know, it's, it's a bit tough, but I think it's also successful. And I think it will work out well for anybody who's training in fixed diseases. I absolutely agree with you, Dr. Padma. We are at such an interesting junction um, in, in, in the, um, you know, era of mankind, probably, when uh, all of us are open uh, and, you know, allowed to do an experiment with our knowledge in any field that we want to. Today, there are no boundaries at all to apply your knowledge. And like you rightly pointed out all of those options, it doesn't have to be traditional and orthodox anymore. And you can apply the same knowledge in different fields. And uh, infectious diseases and the concepts of public health are so uh, now vastly spread out across different uh, industries also, I would say. Uh, I'm sure there will be interesting opportunities and uh, things that people can do. Uh, let me come back with a question because everybody is going back to Corona and COVID. So I want to keep my audience engaged as well. So let me just pick up one question. 